So Go High Level just released an insane new feature where you can now automatically follow up with your leads using Conversation AI. So we can turn on this auto follow up button and it will now follow up with our leads up to five times and we can let AI send the message based on our Go High Level bot prompt. So in this video, I wanna walk you through setting this up because there's some really cool features like following up if the contact stopped replying, if the contact is busy, if the contact requested to be contacted at a later date or time, the bot will follow up. So this is insanely powerful. I'm gonna show you guys in this video how to set this up, okay? So here you can see this was me messaging the actual bot just to test this out. And this was the initial message that was sent by Conversation AI. And if you're totally new to Conversation AI, how it works, I'm gonna break it down very simply so you understand how this works. But basically here, I sent a message, right? Pretending I was a lead for a business. And here you can see I got a response back from the bot. Now this particular bot that I have is designed for real estate investors who are looking for motivated sellers because that's basically what I've been doing the past uh, five years and I've been in the real estate space providing these types of systems for the last eight years. So this prompt can be changed and work, you know, works for any niche. I'll show you guys how to do all that. But here's the initial message that was sent by the bot, right? Which the goal of this particular bot is to qualify the person who's selling their home get their address, why they're selling, all that stuff, and then get them to book an appointment. So the first question, right, in this particular prompt is to confirm the address. And so obviously for testing this, I did not respond because I wanted to see how the feature worked. And so you see here I have a follow-up number one, which is set the minimum that I see right now is within two minutes. I'll go through all this in more detail. But within two minutes, I was expecting a message. And sure enough, two minutes later, there was a follow-up message and it basically followed up on the last question that it was asking, which is great. This means that it has some sort of memory, and so it can access what the actual conversation was last about. And so I obviously put all five messages because I wanted to test the feature, and then I you know, basically just put them all at the lowest amount of time possible so I could just see what happened, but you would realistically want to space these out like a real follow-up sequence, right? So here it goes, right? Basically doing all the things that we want it to following up with the lead. So that's how it works, right? That's how it's going to work in practice. And we're basically going to, you know, set this all up. Okay. So the first step is we need to get into our sub account that we want to send the messages from. So if you own a business and you're using go high level for that, then you would go into your particular business sub account. If you're doing this for a client, um, you would do that in their account. And if you're totally new to high level, basically, we're just going to go into the specific business that we want to uh, provide automated responses from. OK, and then we're going to go over here into the settings section and then we're going to go down to the labs because this is a literally brand new feature right here, literal brand new feature. And we're going to scroll all the way down and we are going to turn on this auto follow up. OK. Now, keep in mind, once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. There's not really a downside since you don't have to use it, but just as a caution, okay? So you turn this on, and then now we have to navigate over here to the conversation uh, AI section, all right? Now, some of this, I mean, I've been building bots on the platform for quite some time, so I'm pretty you know, well-versed in understanding you know, what each feature does, but it can be confusing for some people that aren't super into the automation part of high level, like the bots and stuff. So I'm gonna quickly kind of explain what this section of the software does, and then I'll walk you through how we set this all up, okay? So what the conversation AI bot allows you to do is this is the text-based automation of the platform okay so when i say text i mean anything that is written all right the go high level also has a voice ai bot right which is over the phone this is specifically for anything that is written so you can see all the channels that are supported here uh right inside of this this tab so for example to keep it super simple if you turn on instagram and you set up your bot if somebody messages the instagram page you have connected to this account then on Instagram, you're gonna provide an automated response to that lead, all right? Same logic for Facebook. If somebody sends you a message on Facebook and you have your bot set up, everything's ready to go, then somebody's gonna get a response automatically from the bot. 
And then, you know, the main one that I use right here is via text message. And so that's the one that I have set up. But Conversation AI specifically is for the text-based automation part of the system. And here we have all the different channels, okay? And so you basically name the bot, right? And so you can just call yours the name of, uh, you know, I call my all of my AI Jackie for whatever reason. Um, but this one I've named Motivated Seller AI Booking Bot because that's the, you know, that's the main thing I've done over the past uh, five years. So I have that named here, and then we have our status. So do we want it off, do we want it suggestive, or do we want it to respond automatically? So suggestive basically, off is off, right? And then suggestive basically will use the prompt, and if you don't know what a prompt is, prompt is basically the instructions that the bot should follow. So for example, if I tell the bot, I write a prompt and say, hey, your name is Jackie, you work for ABC Cash Offers Company, then that is the prompt and that is the instruction that the bot will follow, okay? And so suggestive basically will use your prompt that you've written and it will then provide suggestive responses that you can like sort through, click on them, and then send them to the leads manually, okay? So it's kind of like a hybrid where people are sending your page messages or sending your business number messages, but then the AI is gonna curate a response and it's your job to like click through them and then click on the actual uh, prompt, all right? The one that you want, once you figure out how to do all this stuff, is autopilot, right? We want AI to just respond automatically and based off of the actual prompt and just send over that response, all right? Then from here, we have the channel. So we're gonna click on SMS, and then we just have our autopilot mode. So how long do we want for it to respond? I just put it at one second since that's the lowest it can be. And then I max out the number of messages that we can send to the actual lead. Now the new feature I'm gonna show you is actually in the next section. So this really is only gonna work when people are engaging and responding, okay? So here we have the bot training, so you need to have, um, you don't need to have this set up. This is like its own whole video. So I'm just gonna kind of skip over here to like the prompt part of it and the new feature, all right? So the, the bot goal here is where we create our prompt. And I have these for like a bunch of different niches, um, all following the same core framework. So personality here, I just write, you are Jackie. Intent, your goal is to get the customer to book an appointment. And then here we have our actual prompt, all right? So it includes like the intro and then all the qualifying questions and then tra uh, transitioning into uh, book an appointment. This actually isn't my complete prompt. Um, this is just kind of like a sample prompt here. But what we do now and where this new feature is, is we are going to click on this auto follow-up button here, all right? Now, before I show you that, if you wanna book appointments with your leads, conversationally, conversationally meaning if somebody says, I wanna talk today at 5 p.m., the bot says, cool, we've booked an appointment, just all inside of the, the text, uh, you know, SMS, Facebook, wherever you have it turned on, you'd have to turn this on and, you know, configure this, okay? So now that that, you know, is kind of out of the way, let me show you this auto follow-up feature. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna click on the auto follow-up button, and then we get three pretty awesome options, okay? So we have the contact stopped replying, which is obviously if the lead was, you know, messages your, you know, page, right? Your Instagram page or your phone number here. And then they, you know, the bot responds and then they stop responding, okay? So when we turn this on, this scenario, right, is based off of them not replying, as you can see over here, right? So I sent a message, the bot responded, and then, you know, I didn't respond. And so it kept, uh, you know, kind of nudging the actual lead, all right? And so what we do, right, is we, we turn this on and then we now configure the time frame between each follow-up. Now, when you do this, there's only gonna be one out of the box, or maybe two, but there's not gonna be all five. So all you do is we type out where, you know, how many minutes we want it to wait. So if you're actually doing this for your business, maybe you wanna wait like two hours for the first one, all right? And you just click on let AI send the message, and then you go to the add follow-up. Now for follow-up two, right, so this means they haven't responded to this uh, follow up right here, then how long do we want to wait after this? So two hours pass, right? And we send that follow up message and then there's no response. Okay. Now keep in mind the, the actual uh, duration between this one and this one is going to be like the 15 minutes is going to come after the two hour uh, message was sent. And then there was no reply right after this uh, time frame. Okay. So 
you kind of have to think it through a little bit, but that's how it works. So from here, we're going to say, all right, well, we already followed up with them, you know, with, within the same day. So maybe we're going to do one day from this point, follow up kind of the next day. Then we're going to do our ad follow up and you just kind of space these out however you'd like. You could do, you know, 25 minutes, you could do, uh, you know, two, two days, you could do all, you know, whatever you want to set right here. And then you just keep basically adding these in, add the follow up, and then you basically just click save. All right. And now that's already turned on. Once your bot and your AI system is turned on, then this is what's going to happen. It's just those were different time frames. So it's, it would space all those follow up messages out. So what I'd recommend if you're testing it is just reduce all of these down to two minutes and then send your bot a message and then just don't respond. Come back, check it in like 10 minutes and you should see all of these responses here um, from the actual system. You could see there's follow up one, two, three, four and five. All right. So that's feature number one. Now, just to kind of plant a little seed here, I do have an infinite follow up automation as well, where if after, you know, this fifth follow up, there isn't a response, I could actually trigger one of my own workflows, which has AI writing the follow up content. So I kind of already built this out, but now it's just native in the system. You don't have to really worry about building anything out, but I could actually just trigger this workflow and basically send them into the infinite follow up system as well. Okay. So that's a really cool thing as well. So that's the first part of this feature. Now, the same logic applies for like how to turn this on for these other scenarios they're called. You just turn on the scenario, add the follow-up, space them out. But I just want to quickly explain what this is. So the contact being busy would be the AI uh, basically determining any sort of message that the lead sends that indicates they're busy. So maybe the message is sent to the lead and then they say, sorry, I'm driving right now, right? Some people's cars have that set up. Maybe they say, I'm at a meeting. Maybe they say, you know, I'm with my kids or I'm at my kid's game or something like that. And so basically, you know, if you turn this on, right, and they're like, I'm at my kid's, you know, soccer game or whatever, then when this thing follows up, um, it'll probably say, um, you know, hey, how was your kid's soccer game? And then push them back into the actual, um, you know, uh, workflow. Now, just because I'm saying that, I kind of want to see for myself if that's what it does. That's my guess based on where AI is going. So I'm going to test this out for you guys right here live so we can see what happens. So we turn on the uh, this second feature here, so it's gonna save in just a second. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this bot, send it a message, like I'm gonna respond to this one, wait for it to respond, and then I'm gonna say, hey, I'm actually at my kid's soccer game right now. I can't you know, respond, can you message me later? And let's see what it does. All right, so I turned it on. So I'm just gonna say um, for the address, 123 ABC Street, Los Angeles, California, 90210. And then it's gonna take me through the rest of the actual prompt, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for this thing to respond. It's gonna ask me the next question. And then I'm gonna say something to the effect like, hey, I'm busy right now, um, and let's see what it does. Hey, I'm busy right now. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm at my kid's soccer game. I don't have a kid, by the way. Um, can you message me? At, I want to test kind of both of these out. Uh, so it's Thursday, May 29, 1057. So can you message me at 11.01 a.m. PST? So I'm, I'm kind of blending both of these features, but I'm actually more curious on the contact requested one since that's an interesting one. But I've turned on both of these. So the contact is busy is, like I said, if they say they're driving, and then contact requested would be like, hey, I, I want to follow up at a specific time. Um, so let's just see. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. So now, okay, there you go. Enjoy the soccer game, okay? So this is really, really powerful, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video, uh, wait till like 11.01 when the message comes in, see if it comes in, and then we'll you know wrap up the video. So you can see the bot just responded here at 11.02. The bot is a minute late, but that's probably going to happen sometimes. So you can see the power of this function. Like it's going to auto follow up with leads up to five times, which is plenty, right? Considering you may already have other automated workflows. And then on top of it, if the contact is busy, it's going to curate a specific response based on that. And then additionally, if the contact requests a specific time to be followed up with, um, then it's going to do that as well. And you can actually prompt that inside of your instructions here. 
where you could say something to the effect of like, if the contact appears busy or says that they're busy or doing some other activity, see if you can get a time to follow back up with them. And then that will automatically trigger um, that function that I've showed you here. So that is the new feature. Um, I'm super excited about this and hope it was valuable to you. If you're interested in more of what I'm doing, everything is linked down below and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.